Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Putin drops bomb at Helsinki presser, says U.S. intelligence helped move $400 million to Hillary campaign. Wonder how the mainstream liberal media will cover up this new bombshell. As President Donald Trump and President Vladimir Putin held a joint press conference Monday in Helsinki, Finland, Mr. Putin made some very serious and eye-opening accusations. Putin accused Bill Browder of donating $400 million to Hillary Clinton. Via the Gateway Pundit For instance, we can bring up Mr. Browder, in this particular case. Business associates of Mr. Browder have earned over $1.5 billion in Russia and never paid any taxes neither in Russia or the United States and yet the money escaped the country. They were transferred to the United States. They sent, a, huge amount of money, $400 million, as a contribution to the campaign of Hillary Clinton. Well that's their personal case. It might have been legal, the contribution itself but the way the money was earned was illegal. So we have solid reason to believe that some, U.S., intelligence offers accompanied and guided these transactions. So we have an interest in questioning them. Vladimir Putin said last year there was one extradition case by the United State. Mueller can use this treaty as an official request to Russia, in this case, but he made clear that this should be a reciprocal case and it should go both ways. And that's when he continued by bringing up Mr. Browder, who he claims has sent a huge amount of money to Hillary Clinton's campaign. Bill Browder is an American-born British financier. He is the CEO and co-founder of Hermitage Capital Management which is an investment fund that at one time was the largest foreign portfolio investor in Russia. But that's not all, Bill Browder's grandfather at one point was head of the Communist Party in the USA. Isn't it great how it's always the rich elitists who are the ones who want communism the most? Here is more on Bill Browder via The Washington Post. Browder appeared before the Senate Judiciary Committee where he testified that Prevezon hired Glenn Simpson of the firm Fusion GPS to conduct a smear campaign against me and Sergei Magnitsky. He contacted a number of major newspapers and other publications to spread false information that Sergei Magnitsky was not murdered, was not a whistleblower and was instead a criminal. As a former Wall Street Journal reporter, Simpson had extensive contacts with his former media colleagues he could use to spread anti-Magnitsky propaganda. Browder alleged that Glenn Simpson was trying on behalf of the Putin regime, to cover up the murder of Sergei Magnitsky, knowingly lying to journalists in Washington to write false stories. Natalia Veselnitskaya hired him to lie, and Natalia Veselnitskaya was working for Putin. So it's pretty clear to me that this was a major Putin operation. In a statement, Fusion GPS counsel Joshua Levy strongly denied Browder's claims, William Browder has an axe to grind with Fusion GPS. His retaliatory attacks on the company are not supported by a shred of evidence. His latest claim that Fusion GPS was hired by the Kremlin to cover up the murder of Sergei Magnitsky, five years after it occurred, is untrue and defamatory. His DH was a tragedy, and no one at Fusion GPS has ever said anything to the contrary. Earlier this year, Browder filed a complaint with the Justice Department accusing Fusion GPS and others involved in the anti-Magnitsky campaign of unlawfully lobbying on behalf of Russian interests in violation of the Foreign Agents Registration Act. In a letter to the department, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Charles E. Grassley, Republican Iowa, wrote, The issue is of particular concern to the committee given that when Fusion GPS reportedly was acting as an unregistered agent of Russian interests, it appears to have been simultaneously overseeing the creation of the unsubstantiated dossier of allegations of a conspiracy between the Trump campaign and the Russians. Here's the bottom line, we have congressional testimony, under oath that Clinton hired the same firm to smear Trump that Putin reportedly used to smear Magnitsky. Moreover, we also know that the Fusion GPS dossier relied on senior Russian government officials for much of the dirt it compiled, including a senior Russian foreign ministry figure and a former top-level intelligence officer still active in the Kremlin. Together, those are bombshell revelations. Yet today, there is barely a peep in the mainstream media about the Clinton-Fusion-Putin connection. The Russian government deems Browder a threat to national security and put him on Interpol's most wanted list since 2017. As you can see Browder had no issue speaking out against President Trump meeting with Putin on Sunday. Does the left honestly want another Cold War? I just can't comprehend their thinking. If we contain Putin like the left wants we will provoke another 50 years of having to put our kids through nuclear war drills in school. Is this what the left is looking for? Or are they just trying to push an agenda against President Trump that would be so disastrous for the world that it proves just how unhinged they've become in their task of trying to overthrow a sitting American president?
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.